Hey everybody, we've got Valerie here. She is a fellow double stacker and I think we're going to be in for a really fun conversation today because she's made some huge changes in her business from, from the time we started talking to where we are now. She's really grown, added a bunch of, of new concepts to her business and she's really able to take her clients to a new level. So, uh, so that's going to be an exciting thing for us to talk about. So, uh, so here's Valerie. Valerie, go ahead Hi. and feel free to <laughs> introduce yourself. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, about who you are and kind of um, kind of what your business is all about. All right. Um, I uh, just trying to figure out where to start, but I have been doing website development. Um, my background is in English, however, so I'm one of those mm. people old enough um, to have seen the internet be born, and I grew up with it um, as a professional, and so I transitioned from a career in publishing and as a magazine editor and and um, transitioned from that into building websites for clients. And so when I met Lee, I had uh, about eight different clients, some small, some bigger on retainer, but I was under a huge amount of stress because I could tell that I wasn't able to offer them the business solutions that they really needed. And so I had one client in particular when I met Lee that I knew I had this really big for me. Um, it's about a $7,000 website redesign for an e-commerce client who already had about 150 products. So for, you know, solo freelancer, not a small project. Um, and so I knew I had this coming up, but my clients were getting more and more frustrated with me. And I didn't feel as good about my services I was offering them because I knew that when I first started out, I tell all my clients this, it used to pretty much be true that if you wanted to have a business, you had a website and then you were in business because mm -hmm. all you had to do was to get on Google and Google didn't have ads. They didn't have snack packs and they didn't have local offerings. All you had to do was have a website and they had 10 results. And you just had to figure out how to be in those 10 results. And so a lot of my clients have been in business that long that, um, that they, I have to transition them from that used to work, but it doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Now this is what we do. And I was, I didn't know how to have those conversations when I met Lee. All I knew is that I was building them websites when they needed websites, plus all these other things that I didn't offer. And so for a long time, I would tell them, I only do the single stack. I don't do the other stuff. Find somebody who does because that's what you really need to take your business forward and make it grow. And I watched them. This is where I was at when I met Lee is I watched some clients crash and burn and almost just destroy their businesses mm. because I left it to them to figure it out. And so pretty soon I realized, okay, Maybe this isn't my background and I don't have experience in the marketing stack. But if I tell them to just go figure it out on their own, they're going to try two things. One is to do it themselves. Or the other thing is that they'll try and hire somebody, but they don't really know what they're looking for and what they actually need. And so, so in, in both cases, I wasn't serving my clients. And I had these long-term relationships that were just getting worse and worse. I knew that my my business model, if you will, was limited and it was getting mm. worse as time went on as well. So I'm just going to serve that up to you, Lee, to take from there because you kind of know how it goes and how yeah. you help people. So, yeah. so, one of the, so I know that once we started working together, we did, we did worked a lot with your marketing skills, introduced to a bunch of different ways to start attracting clients, get that other stack in place. But then the challenge is, well, they know you as kind of just the tech stack person. Right, now exactly. You have another side to the mix. Yeah. So how did you bridge that gap with them? Well, that's kind of the golden question. I feel like it wasn't easy. It was very difficult. It's a lot harder than bringing on new clients. That's why I feel like you helped me just appreciate that. Um, that I, and a lot of your coaching takes people from the start. Well, where you frame the relationship from the beginning mm -hmm. and you have the right mindset in the beginning. Well, I started with the wrong mindset in some ways. I had it, you know, I have had a successful business. So I have, a lot of that was working as well. So mm -hmm. you just had to take something that was already working 
and figure out how do I transition it. And I honestly, I made some mistakes because I didn't fully and I probably still do dumb stuff sometimes when I'm when I'm talking to my clients. But um, it took me a while to understand the new concepts that you were teaching, um, especially um, as far as mindset is concerned. Hmm. And how what you know, what are you when you were telling, you know, coaching about the doctor patient relationship? How mm-hmm. how do I take that and apply that to my clients? Well, I didn't really know. Um, and so I feel like what helped me the most is just to take it step by step. I was having to have, I know when I, when I first met you, I was super stressed out all the time because I was having to have these client conversations before I'd even had time to understand Lee's concepts and mm-hmm. all of those aspects. And so I did like this crash course where I listened to every single podcast in like three days. And then I had to go try to have this high powered client meeting, like you had described in your teaching. And I, you know, how to present the offer and all of those things that I win concepts, all those things. I just like did this crash course. And then three days later, I'm having the meeting with my client and I presented this huge, one of them, I presented this huge thing. It was like a, I don't know what, $12,000 a month retainer or something because they needed everything. And I didn't really know how to just like, probably hadn't gotten to the value ladder. Um, And so it was definitely just a work in progress that I kind of just staggered through as best I could. Um, But over time, I found that what those concepts that I just listed came into play in almost every conversation later. And every time, and so I was starting to master them over time and just little bit by little bit. So I just kind of had to hang on long enough that I could understand them enough to incorporate them back in. So, you know, honestly, a work in progress, but it's improved every aspect of, and I haven't lost any clients. They, you know, I worked with them for so long. I had a little bit of a buffer there to maybe not say the right thing at the right time. You know, you, you talk about baking your cake. <laughs> and getting all the ingredients in the right order. Well, sometimes I didn't do that, right? And my cake fell flat. But um, I guess there is a plus side to working with existing clients. It's harder, but you have a little bit of a buffer there. So anyway, I think just starting with the mindset was one of the best things that helped me um, to tell them to create expectations. Um, yeah, I'd say that was, if I had to just key on a, on a couple things is try to help them understand what to expect from their website mm-hmm. and do all of the marketing for you, you know? Yeah. Your website is not a marketing plan. And so I had to learn what is a marketing plan. So it's just a ton of education for myself, bringing other people in who have expertise that I didn't, but you can't do that overnight either. So I'll just take some time. Well, that's, that's awesome. Well, how do you feel like this has changed in terms of like how your business is supporting you and the future that you feel like you have with the work that you're doing? Um, I think it's, it's been all the difference for me. Um, it's, I went from being super stressed out because I knew I wasn't meeting my clients' needs or serving them. And, and I loved that about what you taught is how to serve them. Hmm. Um, and so my business now, to answer your question, is it's helped me so much in just my own quality of life. I'm happier. I've been able to take the stress out of those client relationships because now we've reframed it. It took time. I had to teach. I had to assume a new role, which you can't do that over time. You know, some someone that just knew me as like a tech stack person. Mm-hmm. Um and so they, you know, you have to have the conversations. It's a relationship, you know, it develops over time. But now fast forward eight months or whatever it's been since I started working with you, I am so confident in what I offer them. You know, I feel good about it. I know that I'm meeting their business level needs and I have, you know, a lot to learn still, but, but it's totally changed how I feel about my own business and how I, I feel good knowing that I'm actually serving them hmm. and I've actually gotten business from people where I, they came to me and said, fix my broken website. And I said, 
I'm not going to be serving you if I did that because that's not what your your broken website. If I fix it, it's a horrible website. So why would I help you get your horrible website working better for you? You know, so it can still be horrible for you. And so actually, then they came back to me and said, well, build me a better one. And I said, okay. But I, I mean, it wasn't even my intent to go sell them a website. It was to just to serve them and say, you know, that's actually not what you need right now. It's not going to be helping you be wasting your money. So, you know, just all kinds of little things like that that just come up and I feel like so much better about my business. I'm in such a better place because I'm not as stressed out all the time. Um, trying to do too much myself also. So I I was able to take a lot of those concepts where you say, help find out what the business owner is actually worried about. What are What's mm-hmm. keeping them up at night? Well, I was able to do that for myself too. Mm-hmm. You know, what's keeping me up at night about my business was I had too much to do. I had these bad client relationships that were toxic and they were, burning me out you talk about all of those different things at various times in your training Mm -hmm. and so a lot of times we're trying to help our clients with those problems like they're they need more personal time it's time with their family it's about time or it's about they need more money coming in or whatever it may be but those are also things that we have as business owners ourselves Mm -hmm. and so for me adding it was adding in the marketing stack was huge and changing my mindset was huge and changing the client relationship all answered those business level needs that I had. It's yeah, a, definitely. I'm trying to remember because when we first started talking, didn't you like, have you like more than doubled your revenue since we started working together? Yeah, it's gone way up. Like to the point that my husband who does my taxes is like, we're, you're in a whole different tax bracket now. <laughs> That's probably why I'm like, man, I need to charge more because I have to pay so much more in taxes. So it's, that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, Partly because you're adding in those marketing services to so my clients that were just paying for tech stuff. That was mm-hmm. a lot a lot of my incoming revenue increase, if that makes sense. So all of a mm-hmm. sudden, you know, I was charging them for website and technical things and now I'm charging them for ads or, you know, whatever it may be, content marketing, mm-hmm. uh, social media. Those are some different things that I've taken on since I met you. So well, so, that seems yeah. like a huge win. I mean, yeah, for sure. More than double over less than a year. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, that's something yeah. I'm really proud of. High five to you. Yeah, hey, thanks. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, why don't we do this? So I have one, kind of one last question. Um, if, you were, if you were either talking back to your previous self before all of this or, or maybe somebody who's in your, in your position uh, like, like before, like somebody is – coming around and thinking, well, I've only got, a, you know, I've got kind of part-time hours that I can put to this, or maybe they want to eventually scale to full-time, but, but kind of just your, your, your past self, if you could tell someone that's in that position, what you know now to help them get the, get to kind of take that next step forward. Like what kind of big takeaways do you think that you might have for them? Or what kind of advice would you give to somebody who is kind of looking to do what you're doing? I'd say number one, um, invest in yourself and believe in yourself because I've had some I haven't always had the self-confidence to believe in myself Hmm. and especially to pay money to invest in myself so I went to college yeah but I didn't really think of it like that it was just a box that you check in my Hmm. you know in my mindset was you just go to college right Mm -hmm. so what I would tell somebody just starting out in that place is pay the money to get the coaching, pay it, just draw, just, just believe in yourself that you can do, you, you can understand, you can grow, you can improve and you don't have to do it yourself. In fact, that would be the dumb way to do it. The mm. smart way to do it is to hire Lee. I might do a little promo <laughs> for you. That's what I would tell people, but that was a really, really big step for me to take to, to believe that if I paid for a coach, I don't know anybody who's done that before, right? Mm-hmm. So I didn't really have, that was a new concept for me. And it took a leap of faith for me to just say, okay, I, I am putting money down that I can learn and grow and improve my business. This, you know, and by having a coach who's going to help me. And it has been absolutely worth it. And it's totally changed my business. And I have so much more confidence now. And I, I know I sound like a stupid ad, but I'm really telling you the truth of 
how it's been for me because I needed to learn these concepts. And this is the best way, the fastest way, the easiest way because it's one-on-one. -on -one. I, I needed somebody who could help me with my current clients, my specific clients, my specific needs that I had. And I couldn't just take some kind of boilerplate content and figure out some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So the personalized coaching was really key. So if somebody's just starting out and I'm talking to you, just believe in yourself that you're worth the money that you're going to put down. Because I feel like that money that I paid Lee, I think I earned that back in full while I was still coaching. <laughs> like, like my coaching time hadn't even finished before I'd invoice that much money in marketing services. You'll get it back if you believe in your, that's, that's like the best way to get value for your money is to learn something that you, your clients already need. They already need it, and and they're just waiting for you to learn this stuff so that you can offer it and help them out too. And in the process, you'll help yourself out a ton. So that's my big idea: is just believe in yourself that you can do this. What are some of the What are some of the questions that you are asking? To, like when you're trying to figure out, well, should I do this double stack thing, or maybe there's some other thing to do? It's like, how do you um, how do you decide which way is the which, which is the right course for you? You know. I um I am the example of that person who when you said if you really get into the mind of your client and you understand their pain points so well that you describe what they're thinking they're going to make this logical leap where they assume that you can solve the problem. Hmm. So you did that, right? Your ad on Facebook was like, I wasn't even looking for services, to be honest. I wasn't looking, comparing you to any other thing. Hmm. I was just sitting there thinking, I am so stressed out because I have these clients that I can't serve the right way. And so all of a sudden, you know, I'm just on Facebook and I saw the Facebook ad and I read the exact answer or description of my problem, I guess I would say. You described what it felt like, like I, you know, I knew I could be offering more or something was wrong, but you know, I needed this, the marketing services, websites weren't enough. And mm -hmm. I knew enough to recognize that, right? Like I know I'm not offering, I left my clients to just figure out marketing. And one of them by trying to do it herself had lost like $80,000 in revenue that one year. And I watched it happen and they're coming to me saying, help me figure this out. You know, you're, you're the tech person. Why did I just lose $80,000 with the last Google update? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's not my thing. It's not my area. And that just wasn't a good enough answer. And so, you know, I'm reading on Facebook. I see this ad that comes up and it says, websites aren't enough. You need the other stack. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, I know I need it. And so, so yeah, I mean, that was for me, you just described, you did the exact thing that's in the training. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. So, uh, and man, you, you, you hit a grand slam. I mean, you totally did it. You, you put the work in. Because one of the things that I like to really be really clear about is it's not like when we start working together, I don't just like snap my fingers and magically you have this awesome business, right? You put in a lot of work. You showed up, you asked me questions. We were talking to each other. You, you did a, you, you really put in effort. And, and then of course, now you've more than doubled your business out of it. It's like a, a huge result is there too. Yeah. And that's awesome. That, I mean, that's something to be really proud of. I mean, you, you're, you're crushing it. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. I mean, you've helped me more than you know, probably because, and, and the work is to change yourself, right? That's the work. And so it takes time. You know, I know some people can do that faster than others. I don't think I was your fastest person you've ever taught <laughs> and that, but you know, because, it, you know, you're changing how you think. And so, yeah, it's, um, it takes a lot of work. And I really, I've loved it. And, and it's been great. There's been some question marks and some things I couldn't understand, right, you know, intuitively. But that's the whole point of having somebody else there. And I love how you repeat concepts in different ways, but the same concept. There's a mm -hmm. lot of really good kind of repetition going on. And so by the time I listened to the same concept said, like, four or five or six different ways, then I'm really starting to learn and, and change how I think. So it is, yeah, it's totally worth it. Well, that's awesome, Valerie. Well, I've really enjoyed catching up with you. This has been awesome. I love the story. I love all the, all the impacts that you're making with your clients and 
bringing extra value and, and, and finally having great answers for questions that you used to, you used to not have answers for. Yeah. I mean, it just exactly. seems like this huge change is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's really awesome. And so I'm, you know, I'm finally just to let you know, you know, what's next for me is still all about those concepts that you've taught me. So I have, I feel like I'm getting to a comfort level with my current relationships and my current clients. So the next thing is to niche down and, and, decide, you know, if I want to grow, who am I going to be talking to and to really dial into them. And, and, and so I feel it's given me the confidence to know how to grow and how to, you know, even further expand. And I, I just, I know exactly the path to take because it's all right there, you know, how to pick your target market, how to, how to set the, the boundaries of your own who you're going to work with and who you're not going to work with and what's important to you. And so I feel like I, I just have, I have the I win framework. I know how to do the proposals. Like it's all there for me to continue growing. And I'm really excited about it because now I can be intentional and I can set the relationship at the outset from the beginning and know exactly what my service offerings are. And then I can make, I can be more profitable because I can, um, replicate you know i can have one niche that i serve and i can replicate what i do and so it's all sitting there just i'm looking at it thinking okay i bring it you know i'm ready to do this so i'm just kind of um would say that as well just a lot of a lot of good things going on that's awesome well i'll tell you this um since uh, I don't know if everybody knows this about double stack but once you once we start working together you just always have access to all my stuff yeah exactly and so, uh, so even if it had been multiple years, I mean, people from, couple, I started double stack about over two years ago and even people from the beginning still have access to everything. And I, and just yesterday I added a new lesson that I think might appeal to you. It's about defining your, your target audience. And I want to, I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm super excited to know that. I mean, that one thing, actually, if somebody's thinking about doing double stack, I'd just tell you exactly what Lee just said. I go back and refer to those things now, even though my time period, you know, where, where I had personalized coaching is over, but I go back to those recorded interviews before, if I have a big client meeting coming up or whatever, I go study that chapter on, and get my mindset right and review the concepts and stuff. So I love that. It's been super helpful for me because it was a whirlwind at the beginning. There was all new ways of thinking. It was too much for me to really, learn all of those things all just in that, you know, mm -hmm. right before that meeting that I had, you know, that weekend and I had to do that deep dive. And so, yeah, I love that about your offering. It's, it's super valuable. Well, awesome. Well, thank you. And yeah. it's a, uh, and the, the pick, the new one that I just put in there is kind of going at it in reverse, you know, kind of taking a different okay, perspective. Great. Yeah. Like in the beginning, there's kind of like these three steps that you kind of go through. You kind of start with the audience and you kind of narrow that down a little bit more. And then you kind of start building an offer for that audience. Well, in this new lesson, we actually start with, okay, well, suppose this is what you want to do. And so you actually have the offer. Well, how do you kind of work backwards through the marketing oh, and then finally yeah. arrive? At the, at the actual target audience. Yeah. It's, it's really in reverse. So you're kind of raking it back and forth. And I think that really brings some new clarity to it. So I'll be interested okay. in what you think. Yeah, I can't wait to do it because I'm backwards. So <laughs> everything I've done has been backwards, I think. So that's perfect. Well, awesome, Valora. Thanks so much for showing up and, 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 and yep. joining the conversation. It's been awesome. So, um, so that's all the questions that I have. So uh, definitely stay in touch, you know, through the Facebook group, through the course. If there's anything I can do to help support you, okay. let me know. Thank you. It'll be awesome. So huge high five to you. Yeah, yeah. And it'll be it'll be great to uh, great to stay in touch in the future. All right, sounds great. Thank you.